Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to set up a network system with a 16 port PoE switch and a 4 port, multiple 4 ports PoE powered switch. So let's first take a look at this whole system. You can see I've currently connected 4, PO, 4 port PoE powered switch to this 16 port PoE switch. This will centralize all the power and data from these four power switches and gather them all to this PoE switch. So what's the benefit of this? Well first, there's only going to be four ports occupied on the PoE switch, 16 ports. We're going to have to like take half, four of the high power ports because we're going to supply power and data to these four. And these four are going to go in all directions up to 100 meters and they can provide power and data to multiple devices. So by only taking four ports of the 16 port PoE, PoE switch, we can connect up to 16 IP devices. Really convenient. It's very suitable for like indoors, maybe like in schools or in concert halls when there are multiple rooms and each room needs a certain amount of device connected. This is a really good setup because all the data and power is centralized right here. Another good thing is we can also put like a, you know one of those backup batteries that's called it un, called an uninterrupted power supply, the US the UPS, and that will constantly running power with this PoE switch. Imagine someday when there is a power outage, the power outage will you know cause all the power to cut off and then our switch will be still having a little power left, maybe give us 10 to 20 minutes remaining time to, you know, save some of our work or, you know, uh, prepare some executing measurements. Anything that will help us, you know, survive the short moment of power out outage. So the two parts are mainly the PoE switch, 16 port PoE switch and the four port PoE powered switches. So let's take a quick look at the PoE 16 port switch. So like its name, it has 16 ports right here. And the four ports we connected and the, there are a total of eight of them. They are all high power ports. They will output a massive amount of power to, you know, because they have to support the other end of the powered switches and their IP devices. So they all, these eight ports are high power ports and the other eight are just regular PoE ports. You can connect like uh, close devices to them because they don't take that much power. And then we also have a few fiber optic uh, plug pluggables here. So we can connect it to our fiber optic cables for longer transmissions and that's pretty much it. This is a brief introduction for our 16 port PoE switch. And let's take a look at the main role today. So these are the four port PoE powered switches power switch that work really special. They are like a power device and a PSE, a power supply equipment. They receive the power and data from this 16 port PoE switch. When, once they receive it, they'll divide it to other four devices acting as a power supply equipment. So it receives the power and data here and then it takes it and gives it to other IP devices connected to it. It's kind of like a midway station if you want, if you wonder. And we have to remember the five ports in front of the panel, one of it is kind of separated from the other four. The, that lonely one, we have to connect our PoE switch, our mainly power supply equipment to there because this is the port that receives the power and data. We have to know that all the power and data it can give out it comes from here. So main network, main power source goes to this lonely little port. And the other four, are just regular uh, PoE ports which comply with the IEA 02.3AT uh, protocol. And this, they have a maximum output at 30 watts. It's pretty enough for pl most of the IP devices, except for the large massive machines. So, and also these are, once they're connected, you know, they can output up to four and all the, the bandwidth is wide enough for all four occupying them and sending them data back, the bandwidth is high enough to process the data. So it's really efficient and convenient.
And last but not least, what I think is the most efficient of these PoE powered switches is because they receive the power from the PoE switch here. They don't need like an extra power cord. So when we're planting it in our locations, we don't have to worry, oh, is my power cable long enough? Is there a power outlet for our IC alternating current? We don't have to worry about those anymore. All we have to do is find the perfect spot and just simply install it there and ta-da, we can just simply connect our IP devices to it and everything will be good to go. And now I'm just gonna show you guys a simply, see, I'm gonna connect two IP devices to it quickly. Just let you guys see it works. So this is wireless access point. So we're gonna put this in one of our classrooms and now it's on, you can see it is currently blinking. Indicators are on, so meaning it is currently powered through. And now this is one of our security cameras, say outside of the hallway for children's security purpose. We may need one of these. And then connect it to another different switch. So then you can change it. I'm going to change it to fit Ethernet cable. I'm going to use this one. That one's a little bit malfunctioning. I'm going to connect it to this over here. And then the indicator is on as well, meaning this camera is currently receiving power and data. All right. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, you can leave them in the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.